The most significant results from the Eden project were that it costs a third of the cost of a conventional steel and glass roof. That was a really important issue. The second was that we had such a lightweight uh, superstructure uh, that we, we got into a kind of positive cycle in which one breakthrough facilitated another. So with such large lightweight pillows, those the ETFE units, it meant that we were getting much more light in. Um, so we didn't need to put as much heat in in winter. With less overall weight in the superstructure, there were big savings in the foundations. So that, that really had allowed us to deliver a much bigger building than we would have done with a, a more conventional solution. And then we also found that it was using about half as much energy as a more conventional greenhouse. So both in terms of its capital costs and its running costs, there, there were big advantages. And at the end of the project, I did a calculation. I realized that we actually had a very accurate set of figures for the weight of the building. And it turned out that the weight of that superstructure was less than the weight of the air inside. I, I find it really useful to know that for just about every functional challenge that we face in designing buildings, there will be examples that we can look at in biology. And as long as you've got a, a good network and, and you know where to find those solutions, that's a, a great resource. So when you run into difficulties, if you just go back to the biology and you try and work out how that problem has been solved in biology, that serves as an incredibly powerful source of inspiration and a source of ideas to, to help maintain creativity.